Imagine you want to have a QuickBase mobile device and you want to add a record. Well, you're, I'm coming into this basic example here, but you see the button at the top, Add Contact. If I click on it, now it looks like a regular Add Record, um, A, B, C, but let me pull up to the top. Do you see what it says at the top? Contact record number 341. What this allows us to do is to fill out a form like this and come down at the bottom and use another formula URL button to then move on. Now in the heretofore, we've not been able to do this because the record ID has not been noticed, but that record contact number 341 at the top makes this possible. I hit continue and now I'm on to a different form. I've saved the original one and I've updated and now I'm able to do a whole bunch of other things and do another submit here which then takes me to view the entire record all by itself with all of its uh, choices. So anyway, let's take a look at how all of that comes about. In the background, there's a button here that's called Add Contact. Now this is just a URL link that goes to a code page and the code page allows us to take a look at um, and call this. So let's take a look and there's a there's some description of what it is up above here. But in uh, this piece, um, and this was um, put together really by Tyler Pitchford, one of our CSEs, uh, QuickBase Solution Providers here at QuickBase. Um, this is what uh, is going to happen. I want to do an API add record. And it's going to, so this, this loads and gets done. Up above here, um, what we've got is, is that when the state changes here and the result of having done the bottom is acknowledged, then what it suggests is, is to take the response. Now, every time you do an API add record, if you don't have a redirect to it, you'll see that it says, um, no, no problem. It says it, it acknowledges you've done it, but it also gives you the record ID. It says where our ID equals zero. Uh, well, this is really an array, and it's picking up the value from this digesting of the um, the XML. Uh, and then I appended here the dfid. So, and the dfid is going um, to dfid number two, which is a whole different other form. Um, so, uh, so anyway, all of that is done by a an HTML button on the dashboard, which uh, launches that workflow. Click. And notice the record exists. You can fill it in uh, in here and hit continue. This moves to and saves and moves to another part of the form. So you can daisy chain all this stuff uh, and then look at the result. Very cool.